Let's do it. Let's have the conversation. Israel, Palestine. I think it took some time, and I just want to talk to some Jewish friends. I want to talk to some Palestinian friends. I just want to understand what both uh, groups were feeling. And I uh, understand how unbelievably isolating it is to be both of them in this scenario. So let's just take, for example, the Jews, right? You're a Western Jew. You're raised your entire life with your history, with the stories of your victimization and your oppression, right? Jews have been kicked out of every single country they've ever been in. Like, literally, you go to a country, even on this tour, I'd be doing some research of the city we're in, and then I just come across the date that the Jews were kicked out. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, King George did it to the Jews in the year 1000 or whatever in England. I didn't even know that happened. It, like, every single country. So you're listening to this information as a Western Jew. You're hearing about it. Your, your private grandparents survived the Holocaust. 100%. He tells you about it. 100%. The, people are going to try to exterminate us. 100%. They're telling you this constantly. They're saying, hey, you're different. And just to let you know, it could happen again. We've got to be very careful. You've got to be on your P's and Q's. And you're a Western Jew that grows up in New York. You grew up in L.A. or something. And you're like, I'm just American. Yeah. I'm like a white kid from America. What are they talking about? Like you hear about the anti-Semitism that will pop up sometimes, but you're like, I'm American. This is my parents. That was like my parents' time. And then October 7th happens, disgusting act of terror from Hamas, terrorist organization in Gaza, and kills over a thousand Jews. And you think the reaction is going to be empathy and sympathy and concern for you and what your people just went through, this disgusting act. But all of a sudden, you see the next day, there are like people in the streets seemingly excited about it. Mm -hmm. This is not everybody, but there are people that are chanting horribly anti-Semitic things. Yeah. All of a sudden, that voice that you quieted your whole life, because you're like, that's just my grandparents being crazy. You're like, holy sh is it true? This is the worst case scenario. We are different. They, they are out us. for us. They do hate us. And they hate us because we're Jewish. That's the conclusion yes. that you would logically come to. They want to exterminate us. They want us gone, right? You hear these chants. And not only are they not giving you sympathy, some people are celebrating. Oh, exactly. And that's when I was reaching out to my Jewish friends. I was like, oh, yeah, I don't ever think I've acknowledged that anti-Semitism is a thing yeah. still. Because yeah. I think we see it like, nah, you're white. Yeah. It's not like that for a sizable percentage of human beings.